Yo, what up? It's your boy Mike back again. And tonight, I'm doing an album review. And that album review is on 1994's Organized Confusions, Stress, The Extinction Agenda. One of my favorite hip-hop albums of all time. Um, like every video, I'll tell you how I got into Organized Confusion. It was around 1995, I want to say, when I just started collecting cassettes. And my uncle had this cassette, and I thought the artwork was absolutely amazing. I was like, wow, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, he played it. I heard Stress, you know, the single. And I was just, yo, it's just dope. I like the complex rhymes of Pharaoh and Prince Poe. And... I was like, I fucks with that. I never was able to get my hands on a physical copy. You know what I mean? Because even in the late 90s, I couldn't find this. You know what I mean? I didn't get this till like last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is an out of print. Um, I was just on Amazon. You know what I mean? Just scrolling down my wish list. And I came across this. Just curiosity to see what it's going for. I've seen it on um round three. For fifteen dollars, man. I didn't even think. <laughs> I just bought it. Had the money on me. Bought it instantly. Instantly, just bought it. You know, happy as fuck when I received it too. Um. Yeah, man. And it's funny how I like. I'll give you my story about Farrell March and his Eternal Affairs album, like his solo career. I was watching a Lux commercial, and I just hear din 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 din. Get the fuck up. You know what I mean? Cause was you know. <laughs> that part was like uh, censored and stuff, but um, I was like, wow, this shit is dope, you know what I mean? And I didn't recognize his voice in the beginning, you know what I mean? And then I was like, it just, I was like, what the fuck is that? Because mind you, I didn't even get to have own this on cassette, you know what I mean? I just heard it from my uncle bumping and shit, and um, fucking, I went to my boy Fernando, and he was playing it. He had the single, the Simon Says, for a March. This is '99. And I'm like, wow, you know, that's due from organized confusion because I knew the, I remember the name, you know what I mean? And uh, but Equinox, I didn't get to that into that till later, you know what I mean? That was kind of under the radar in '97, you know what I mean? I was bumping, you know, War Report and Life After Death and shit like that, and everything else that came out that year. And '97 was a good year, but um, yeah, man, this album is just <laughs> amazing. I think it's their best album, um. Production wise, very grimy, gritty, so good. Fucking the chemistry between Prince Poe and Pharaoh was just uncanny. I fucking love it. Fucking the artwork is just sick. Done by Matt Reed, aka Matt Do. Committed suicide, unfortunately. RP to that dude. Um, amazing artist. He also did Company Flow, Funk Crusher Plus. Um, there's Prince Poe, there's Pharaoh with, like, the green fist. To be honest, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I have no clue. You know what I mean? I'm guessing that's his dad, because um, Pharaoh lost his dad a little while after the, you know, first album dropped. So I'm guessing that's his pops. I don't know who this is. Or that dude or that dude. I have no fucking clue. But I know these two dudes. Obviously, Prince Poe and fucking Pharaoh. But yeah, I love the artwork. The album is just amazing. <laughs> like, Stress was a single. Uh, you know, title track, just a bang, you know. Grammy beat, going back and forth, flexing their skills. Um, Pharaoh says some real dope shit on there, man. <laughs> you know, he's basically, just because something's played on the radio like 20 times per day, don't mean it's fat. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, like, you, you play... The same whack track on the radio over and over again. I ain't listened to the radio since 2007. You know what I mean? So, like he's saying, like, just because it's played so many times per day, it's not dope. You know what I mean? It's not fat. You know? So why are you mimicking these whack MCs? You know what I mean? Just dope shit. It's an amazing fucking track. Um, My favorite track on here is a toss-up between... Let's organize, featuring um OC and Q-Tip, 
or um, Stray Bullet, which is amazing. Stray Bullet's about the story of, you know, Farrell being a bullet and shit like that. Um, different from Nas, uh, I give you power, because Nas talking about being an actual gun. And I think Nas executes that well. So does Farrell, you know what I mean? But both of them dope. <laughs> dope concepts, for real, for real. His <clears throat> organizer is sick. I love when Farrell's like, um, Tiger, Tiger, uppercut, directly to the gut. Oh, it's so dope. Um, referencing Super Street, oh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know? Um, Q-Tip's on the car. No, it doesn't have a verse, which he did. Because Q-Tip always slays his motherfucking gun. Guess the parents is. Like, Beastie Boys, um, Get It Together, Off Ill Communication. Um, I forgot the name on the, uh, Alcoholics Coast to Coast album of that track, but he murders that. The yeah, Q-Tip's nasty when it comes to, like, features. He's, a, he's dope MC in general. Wish he had a verse on that. Um, OC kills it. OC, he's been fucking with them from the beginning, since, like, 91, when that self-titled album came out. You know, what Fudge Pudge on it and all that. I want that, <laughs> you know? It's fucking, you know, how to print and shit. Track 13 is dope, you know what I mean? 13 was a special number to Faro, you know? He got asthma at 13. Shit like that. Black Sunday is dope. Basically talking about how, you know, basically the fucking, you know, the story of organized confusion, how they got together and stuff. Dope. I, every track is ill. There's not one bad track on here. Why? Another dope track. Yeah, man. Just an amazing album. I'm not good at breaking down tracks. Giving you everything, you know what I mean? Call it a half ass review all you want. I don't give a fuck. This is my style of doing shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Every track is just good, as I said before. Pharaoh and fucking Prince Poe's, like, chemistry is fucking amazing. Love the artwork, too. And the back got, you know, the Pharaoh's fist from the front. The dish does as well. Shout to Apathy of all me of the Pharaohs and motherfucking demigods. He said he's a big fan of this album. He quite, he talks about it quite a lot. Even in his studio, there's a big, like, plaque of this shit. Like, a, not a plaque, but like a frame of the album cover. Yeah, man. This is their best work, hands down. <laughs> for real, for real, man. I need to get Equinox in the self-titled album, but, you know, Equinox is more, it's not cheap by any means, but it's more, you know, you're better you can get that over fucking the first album. First album's fucking pricey as shit. <clears throat> but yeah, man. If you don't have this, I suggest you fucking pick it up or download it or some shit, man. Because if you go, oh, you gotta give the artist that money and shit. Yeah, I understand that. But yo, if they ain't re-release it and it's like fifty bucks, download that shit, man. Throw it in your iTunes. Listen to the shit. Throw it in your fucking Windows Media Player. However you get down. You know, shit's out of print like a motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, man, just a very amazing album. You know, dark production, as I said before. Just a fucking ill album. A lot of fucking <laughs> amazing wordplay from both of them. Pharaoh, especially. Pharaoh's punchlines are just sick, man. The straight bullet, the way he tells that story. Oof. And the production, how he rides that beat, man, is beyond fucking good. It's so fucking dope. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Organized Confusion Stress. The Extinction Agenda. Released in 1994. Amazing album. Pick that shit up. They get Pharaoh's solo shit, man. Eternal Affairs being my favorite, man. That album is amazing. Amazing. Just so fucking good. This is, like, easily top 25 of 1994. And you know what? I might do my series over again. I've been thinking about that. Even though it's a fucking hassle. And I don't want to do what I did before. But it'd be nice to just do that, man. I think I should do that. 
you know, top 25 of the 90s. But I was thinking, like, 90 and 91 is going to be kind of hard. Because there's not 25 albums I like from that, like, enough that I know from that year. You know what I mean? I know of the albums, but I'm not into the, the, the groups, you know what I mean? Probably close to 20 I could get up to from 90 91. Probably not even close. I don't know. I have to think about that. But everything else, I'm pretty sure I can do 25. I'm just thinking in my head. I know I can. But, um, yeah, man. Motherfucking organized confusion, stress, the extinction agenda. 1994. Please listen to this somewhere, anywhere you can, man, because it is a fucking amazing album. I'm sorry about the review. You know, a, a lot of people like, you know, people that break down tracks. I, I can't do that, man. You know, I just listened to this, you know, I, I just can't do it. It's just, I'm not talented at it. You know what I mean? I admit that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Cause some people even like my reviews when I don't do that, so fuck it, man. And I love y'all niggas. Y'all niggas ain't picky. Y'all niggas really appreciate my shit. So shout out to y'all, man. So yeah, I'm gonna end it right now. Organized, confusing, stress, the extinction agenda, 1994, classic, classic material. Excellent album, man. Pick that bitch up. Got some more shit coming up. Um, honestly, don't know right now what the fuck it's gonna be. I'm in a I'm in a rut right now. I want to do a Jay-Z discography, but I want to get that physical 444, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'll see y'all niggas on the flip side, man. As I said, Organized Confusion Stress, The Extinction Agenda, 1994. Amazing album. See y'all niggas on the flip side. Peace.